Okay, I'm temporarily moving away from the trailer job to build, uh, to fabricate, I should say, two lowering devices for tree work. So, I cut this. One's going to be here. One's going to be there. Oops. So it's pretty much going to look like that. And what you do is you wrap the rope around the big one and then around the little one and there's going to be pieces, these things, to block so you can tie, you know? Alright, so... Alright, well it's coming along. I got my holes done on this one. So now I'm grinding in between the holes to make slots like this one here. You know, so you can uh, hook it to the tree. Now this one I had to stop because my uh, what do you call it? my hole saw has no more teeth on it. I'll show you. I wore the darn thing right down. There's no more teeth at all, so it don't cut. Now I gotta go tomorrow to hardware because we're Sunday. And I'll get another one. So I won't be able to finish this one. But I will have this one all prepped. And then I got to wash it down with acetone. So that I could weld it and paint it. You know, because then I got to put these guys on there. That'll be quite a thing, you know, when I'm done. Okay, here's the uh, final result. My welds look terrible, but at least it's going to hold. That's the main thing. I don't have argon gas, so I can't do MIG. I use flux core, and it leaves a lot of splatter and a lot of crap. And, uh, you know, when you're welding two different sizes, like this is a quarter inch plate, and that pipe is about an eighth of an inch. So is this one. So it makes it very hard to weld, you know, the two together. Because you got to stay a couple seconds on the thicker one and one second on a thin one, you know, and back and forth. So it makes for quite an interesting job, especially when you're using that flux core crap. But that's all I can afford. You know, because you can't use argon gas outside the wind will just blow it away. Uh, you know, I ain't got no garage. I can't do work like that. So, this is what I'm stuck with. So, I got to put up with it. Anyway, I just hope all goes well for that tree job. I welded this so hot on the thick plate that you could see on the bottom side where it was melting through. So, that should really hold... You know, maybe not a few thousand pounds, but should hold quite a bit. Anyway, I'm going to bring both of them just to be sure. You know, in case something happens, I, I see that one is cracking or something at the weld. Well, I'll just use the other one. Now i got to try and find my straps. I can't seem to find my big straps anymore. Anyway, so that's it, friends. Thanks for watching. Uh, please comment, and if you haven't yet, subscribe. Tell all your friends, folks. Bye now.